Welcome to this NX Help Tip. So you've got your disks for NX and you're eager to install. Before you install anything, it's best to see what kind of license you're going to be using. There are basically two types of licenses that affect the installation procedure, standalone or network. A standalone is designed for use by a single user on a specific computer at any one time. There is no license service or software that is required. In the example license you can see the package NX10101 is the first thing after the descriptive box. Compare that to a network license. This type of license has two extra lines which specify that it's a network license. These lines specify the computer that acts as a server for the license and the composite ID that codes the license to that system. In this video we're going to demonstrate installing just the license service. You would do this where you are using a central server to serve your NX licenses to the client systems. With the NX9 license service you may find that you get a Java error. This will mean that you need to install Java or update to a newer version. In this case I'm installing the 32-bit version of Java. Once that's done, I can rerun the license service installation. You can change the install path if you like. The next prompt is for the license file, so I select the network license. The installation will then proceed. Once it's done, I want to make sure that it's all OK. By starting LM Tools, I can view the licensing log file. You can see it is serving out an NX10101 bundle, but there is an expiry in this example. If you're using a permanent license, then you will not see the expiry. Other than that, this license service is working properly now. 